Hi, I'm Randy Whiting, here with jazz guitarist Greg Delordo. Greg is a humble man and an extraordinary jazz guitarist with a hidden brilliance as a songwriter, lyricist, and arranger. His own compelling true story is the catalyst that has led him to employ his talents to create beautiful, romantic songs. He'll be releasing his latest CD, Serenade Me in the Moonlight, in 2013. Now the songs on this CD are beautifully arranged with meaningful messages. And what's amazing is Greg plays all of the parts on five different guitars, and each song has a signature guitar solo. And by the way, not even a rare brain tumor and brain surgery can stop this man's music. You know, be honest, you know, you're not a, a, a guy in his 20s, and when you think about romantic love songs, you'd think that 20-something artists are going to be doing love stories. What inspired you to, to do this whole new CD of, of very romantic, beautiful love songs? Well, I never thought I would be writing love songs. Well, basically, Sharon, after 35 years of silence, we reconnected. Uh, we were brought face to face, and she basically uncorked the bottle. <laughs> we met over 40 years ago, and we were just friends. And uh, Sharon moved away over 400 miles, and we never kept in touch. And during that time, uh, Sharon was always my number one fan. She was looking for my music, and through unmistakable and uh, uh, undeniable events, we were brought face to face. There was about a year we, we were married till within the year after we first connected. So on all these songs, now there are how many songs that are on the, on, going to be on the CD? The CD uh, is broken into two different phases. So phase one is uh, four songs, uh, two instrumentals, so six mm -hmm. total. Uh, phase two will come out with another six. Obviously, Sharon is a major inspiration. Anytime you find the love of your life, it, it changes your Absolutely. kind of creative nature and everything. Absolutely. But how did you, you've got a whole series of songs. How did these, uh, the, the genesis of each of these songs begin? Well, they, they basically are all about, about Sharon. She's the uh, basic focal point. Of, of these songs. They're all about her, they're about our story. We wrote the first one before our wedding entitled The Rose of Sharon. Uh, to her it was a personal serenade love song. A few weeks before our wedding we had another email exchange. We had an outside wedding event and Sharon had asked the question, will there be a full moon in our wedding? And I looked it up and we said no, but the next week. And she said, well we'll be on our honeymoon. Will you serenade me in the moonlight? And I went, that's a song. Next song, great. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, the song Deja Vu came from a moment when we were listening to an old song that was recorded actually with Sharon sitting two or three rows in front of me. Mm -hmm. She was driving, I'm writing, and we're listening to the actual recorded song that she's thinking of using for the wedding. I don't know this, of course. Uh -huh. I'm thinking, wait a minute, this is the actual song. Sharon was here. And she's now driving and she's still grooving to the music like she was back then. And I just went, this is Deja. I went, that's a song. We have a real unique song um, that's called uh, Can You Imagine? And this song was part of my, my original songs in the 70s. And I rewrote the lyrics to fit our story, one of our best friends. Victoria Rorig Markey sings the song. She actually sang it live at our wedding, and that was our first dance. Uh, so let me ask you, Greg, you've got all these, the, the first four or five songs completed in the can. Yes. Uh, when can we expect to see these? This first one's coming out as a the, single, right? Yeah, the, the Serenade's coming out as a single, and uh, this Rose of Sharon and, and the others will come out uh, 2013. Okay. So we're planning to have those out. Those are all recorded, they're all finished. This is the first CD you've done in, in quite a while. But tell us a little bit about your background of you know, coming up into the jazz world and you know, where you played and kind of the things that you did. Well, going into um, the jazz, that wasn't my first um, style of music. George Harrison was my hero. Uh, he played the Gretsch Country Gentleman, so I had a Gretsch. I learned all the George Harrison parts note for note, and um, I played in an English, half English, half um, American band. Then I joined the Spats, which was a, an established Orange County local band. That was the direction in the 60s. 
And as the doors came out and Jimi Hendrix was starting to come out, I heard West Montgomery's Bumpin' on Sunset. I was gonna say, because when I listen to you play, you can tell there's a huge West influence on your styling and your chording and chord melodies and things like that. So let's talk a little bit about your Heritage guitars. I know you've had a long relationship with Heritage. It's uh, Heritage is the, the unsung hero. They're the, the, real, the real deal. It's, I call them the, the guitars of yesteryear, you know. They are the same, made on the same machinery, the same technology, the same methods, actually the same, the same people. And it's beautiful, they're, they're oh, handmade American absolutely. instruments. Absolutely. Yeah. This one is a Golden Eagle, a custom Golden Eagle. Uh, it's the same principle as the violin. And but you can tell it in, in the tone on, on your absolutely. recordings that, that it, these instruments have... They just, sing. Uh, they sing, they have mm -hmm. such a special component of, of your sound. They, they sound like you expect. You went through a very dark period in your life uh, eight years ago or so when you were diagnosed with a brain tumor. How did that affect you as a, a musician? It did affect. Um, though I was in recovery, I was, I was thinking the songs through. I could hear the songs. Dr. Linsky, knowing I'm a guitar player, he said, well, at your one year post-op, bring your guitar and you'll be playing your guitar. Uh, mm. So I was working towards that. and. There was quite a, quite a few setbacks, one just being rusty, not being able to play for, for some time. But the other reason was uh, my hearing was so hot, I could hear a pen drop across the street. And uh, when I first picked up my guitar, there's no way I could even use a pick. I just would barely brush the strings. I was able to think through things, and I was able to hear musically things. And uh, the song that I put together called Ode to Charlie Christian was the first one. The next thing I heard was when Sharon and I started um, talking and I signed off that email where I referred to her as the Rose of Sharon. And that next, that night, I started to hear Rose of Sharon. Just like I heard a song, like I knew this song, or like I was listening to a radio. Greg, thanks so much for uh, this opportunity to sit down and talk yeah. about your music, about your guitars, your, your life, and particularly these wonderful love stories that you're, you're coming out in the, in the new CD. Uh, I think it's a real uh, breath of fresh air uh, in the music industry, in the jazz world, to have storytelling. And, and I think uh, this uh, set of songs really has demonstrated your ability as a consummate storyteller as well as a, a great uh, jazz musician. So, thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you very much. I'm Randy Whiting, here with uh, Greg Delordo. Watch for his new CD and his songs coming out in early 2013. I know you're going to enjoy them.